Alright, welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. It's time to continue our legacy operations. My name is Saiken and I'm going to invite you to yet another run into the legacy operations. We finished our first legacy operations with uh, 264,000 points. Still, we are continuing this blind playthrough and I've un understood a, a bit better how the legacy operations work. So apparently there are four uh, central scenarios, which is even better. Can you imagine we have three more scenarios to go? That's just awesome. So we completed the blast from the past and have unlocked the lowest weapon tier for the actual game. And um, that means we're now continuing with it came from the sea before the rise of uh, to in uh, um, with the resistance radio network uh, the dj made several attempts of attempts of building the fledging network on his own and we're going to now uh, piggyback on dj's story this time with a bit of a different uh, squad i like it that you start with like the standard squad of specialist stranger sharpshooter grenadier and then fill up that's very classical xcom now we're <clears throat> meeting the first Templar, so instead of a Grenadier, we're this time together with uh, Bradford and the Templar. Uh, we're starting, I think, back again with the normal equipment. Um, got Templar, who is built around the yeah, standard, uh, standard Templar, built around a normal media text. Got, uh, Squad side uh, sniper and finally a, a specialist with only the standard abilities. Okay, so we're going to play It Came from the Sea as the second scenario, as always, highest difficulty, uh, which in this case is going to be Nightmare. We are enabling the narrative, and that should be it, guys. Let's go. I don't know about you, but from where I'm sitting, things are just looking a little grim out there today, folks. I'm not sure what it is, I just can't seem to get my juices flowing like they used to. I was all excited to try this old folk remedy I heard about, right up until I realized the secret ingredient was something you had to dig out of one of those snake chicks running around out there. Now, don't get me wrong, if I thought I could catch one, I would have at least tried it. Together Good, we're starting with neutralize all hostiles. Uh, got a nice little 10,000 uh, points for completion, 16,500 for enemy kills, which kind of equates to, I would say, um, 11 enemies. And that's pretty much it. So, as for strategy, the thing that I learned is you're getting the early bird bonus at the beginning, so I'm trying to be aggressive at the very start and then I'm gradually slowing down to make sure that we're not having too many wounded soldiers. That's uh, the trade-off that I wanted to do. So we need to kill each and every creature over here. Got a huge warehouse and this here by the way looks exactly like the new Fundland mission or very very similar. Very similar. Like, if that would be a huge container ship, we would be definitely in Newfoundland. Loving it. It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a flashback. So, central. Is seeing all of these enemies at once. That's four of them. And of course I'm asking myself the question, what's the perfect position to start engaging them? I guess high ground here wouldn't be too bad. Moving the sniper into position. 
moving our specialist into position and last but not least our Templar who by the way I'll go quickly. Um, has no defensive skills yet a pack of four enemies it's pretty substantial for for a starter having a great day out there in the occupied territories don't let Azmed get you dead so if we were to move down here and here and they would patrol further I think Bradford could actually throw a grenade at them Putting our sniper in a good position, and our specialist definitely should also be in a solid position Rolling. with high ground. A bit of a longer eyes. setup this time, but I think it's worth it. Sure, why exactly we we're being uh, spotted out. There was no need for that. It wasn't until we got close to town well, that we started picking up our idea of starting it out slow it. definitely sure has just accident. gone out of the window. No the resistance was stupid enough to leave the alien for the signal to follow. Given Bradford, the aid protocol. Hopefully killing this guy. Oh no, minimum damage. Uh, that's not really optimal. We do not have death from above yet. This here could be a crit, we could one-shot him. Five damage and a crit would one-shot him. So it's a 66% chance multiplied by 50, so 33% chance to one-shot him. Let's see if we can pull it off. Okay, that worked out well. So we're looking at four to five and Bradford's five to seven. Or alternatively, his shotgun. So we're definitely starting with uh, building up some uh, focus here. And we're using the momentum to get into a full cover. Redford, on the other hand, will still stick to his full cover. And that's a solid chance of critting him. We would need at least maximum damage and crit. No, five, uh, five damage uh, would, would have been enough. So it's a 60, it was a 66% chance to actually kill him. Okay, so we know that the next part will be down there, which I want to explore further, but I want to do it the right way. So that, that's the moment in time when we have gotten the early bird bonus, and now it's about playing it safe, and no longer about playing it fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to move up, just to make sure we have everything under control. I'd like to really take the high ground here, Headed there now. make sure that we can reload, move everyone it's into a solid time. cover position, and we're off. full cover here, and at least partial cover here. I see the path. My eyes are peeled. I'm pretty sure the next pack will be somewhere at, at the 
at the harbor. From the sea. That's what stood out. They were just giant bugs to us back then. We didn't know anything I'm pretty about sure the science. I should have known better. Excellent. I Strange even referenced uh, the uh, the effing new phone blend mission. We had a much bigger problem to contend with. The rumors were true. The aliens had hit this town, and you know what? We would have welcomed a good fight with Advent versus what we actually ran into that day. There we go. So much, by the way, for taking it slow and making sure everything's alright. I've seen multiple others Maybe down not. there. We march towards enlightenment. We do not yet have run or uh, run and gun. Um, so I still would want to give us the chance to move closer. Positioning ourselves here. It's two realistically speaking, two overwatch shots and the guys uh, the chrysalids will probably run into our direction. I was wrong again. I mean, come on! Where's the logic there? How the hell am I supposed to prep orders with some bug eyed freak barking gibberish at me? <laughs> the DJ is really fun. Back online. Scanning. I am watching. Okay, we got our squad in position. There's a time and a place for everything, and I'll admit it. If I'd been sitting around the campfire having a few drinks, this guy probably would have been... Sentry's moving forward, and there are the, the remaining chrysalids. A bunch of weird ocean chrysalids running us down. I would have given anything to shut him up. Here we go, that's a solid kill. Nice little 100% shot, I like it. I like also how we're fighting against like these mini chrysalids, especially specially developed for this early mission. We're giving Bradford the um, aid protocol just in case something happens. We don't need it on top of the roof. Oh, we can't even see them. Interesting, okay. I would have an issue just running down there. I somewhat don't like the idea of it. What? It's too down. So I'm torn between moving down or vaulting this guy. Vaulting has a realistic chance, like 50% to immediately kill it. Moving down could trigger another pack. We're looking at 10 enemies, probably, and we've killed 7, which means if we're now running into another pack, I guess it's 100% kill, and we do have an option for, uh, for momentum to move back. But having an extra pack would make it more difficult. I don't know the, about the level design. My experience in XCOM tells me not to run in, but then again, just using Vault as a 50% to kill it, and Overwatching even if we're elsewise almost at 100%, and hit rate uh, ratio will probably not kill it. I'm playing it safe here. Some people might criticize me for that, but. I want the flawless bonus. And yeah, the 50% paid off. That's okay. We're going to go for an overwatch. Could have rushed in. But you never know. Like I said, I've... At a certain level of uh, experience in XCOM, you just pretty much know how 
the game mechanic or how the game, let's say, momentum works. Mechanic would be the wrong term. How the game momentum works. And sometimes you, you see situations like these and you end up asking yourself, is it really worth uh, charging in? And there are plenty of people uh, totally in love with the uh, Templar. Um, and it's a great class, don't get me wrong, actually it's one of my favorite classes. But it requires you to judge when to go in and when to not do so. So in this case apparently we would have been safe and I made a fool out of myself and lost um, a bit of focus from the Templar. That's the cost of playing safe. Had I, been, had I been right though, and had there been a pack of enemies down there, I would have just charged in, then that would have been incredibly dangerous. Moving up, I'm trying I'm not move. to pull anything. One more turn until we are at the uh, at the um, position to actually okay. move to the edge of the roof. Overwatch, no Overwatch, Overwatch, reload. There, the chrysalis are back there. Oh, yeah. Alright, we know there's yet another pack Understood. back here. Two of them. Again, we're not going to uh, approach them yet. Instead, positioning ourselves properly. We go to Overwatch, Overwatch, so our sniper can take a shot next turn. And these guys will most likely be the last ones before the mission ends. Let's go, baby. another high ground position. Luckily for us, all of these guys are downstairs. Against melee units we do not need any form of cover. Yeah, and we're almost done with maximizing our points. Um, so since we can't 100% kill this guy, we just move him back. We're too far away for it to reach us. Well, but apparently not too far away to reach that beautiful civilian. You will pay the price. You Gaining some more focus. Not 
sure. But I think we should kill the cocon like right away. It elsewise can be rather nasty when they start spawning new chrysalids. It's boring into town, but we still didn't know what was riling them up in the first place. So we got ourselves solid 21,000 uh, points for the first mission, Advent flawless. That's not bad. The troops stationed at the local outpost. We were able to scrounge up a few things, but we couldn't take everything. Yeah, we're definitely going to go for experimental ammunition. Blue screen is wonderful, Talon is really good, AP rounds, that's a no-brainer. We got Parry and Amplify, two really really good skills, I like it. Blade Storm also a good skill, Return Fire, not so much a good skill, but it tells me that she's going to be specking into uh, the pistol tree uh, of the sniper. And that's not too bad because we do have uh, Feng, uh, Feng Fire uh, and Face Off in, on that side. Medical Protocol is perfect. And we got ourselves our <coughs> uh, first Skirmisher with a nice little set of abilities plus uh, Grapple. So that is awesome. Yeah, we need more points this time. 300,000 is the mark. That's the minimum that we need to reach. If the chrysalids were moving underwater, every town, camp, and settlement along the coast was at risk of the same fate as that last one. We decided to keep moving. If nothing else, we could try and warn people before the next attack. And wouldn't you know it? The further we got, the stronger the signal from the new self-proclaimed King of the Airwaves. Part of me was almost hoping Advent would drown him out with some soothing propaganda of their own. But he had really jammed up their frequencies somehow. There was a cold snap moving in. The wind coming off the water was brutal. I only remember because when we got to the camp, it was burning. And the heat was a welcome change despite so, what it meant for the locals. Completing the objective 25,000, we probably got around 14 enemies, 11 to 14. Sometimes you get a little bit more than 1,000 per enemy kill, so we got some bigger enemies, that's I think uh, for sure. So 50,000 on the line, plus civilians rescued, so 63,500. We're going to see this mission in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed it. If you did so as well, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below.